All right, hello folks, this is Vox. We're going to be going ahead and uh, we would just totally continue here, except the game is a bit buggy with transferring creatures. So, this is the first level where we're actually going to be fighting another keeper, and it's going to be interesting. This is another level I have, by the way, um, and um, stuff happened, and things were good, but uh, stuff. Thing. Anyway, we're going to be uh, transferring a warlock, and we have to transfer a warlock um, from here because... Uh, game's a little weird. Right, so, continuing onwards to the next level, oh yes. That is a party we shall never be part of, due to recording failures. Right, so, there's a problem with this level. You have a level 10 warlock. Yes, that is the problem. And the problem really with that is that, uh, exactly that, thank you. That was nicely timed, if I do say so myself. We're going to be kind of crazy right off the bat, and just dig this way. Uh, we're going to get that gold, so that we get that message a lot. No, so that we get uh, this message a lot, so that we... Um... Oh wow, that was interesting. Just kind of... Right, yeah. We want to be as efficient as possible and as quick as possible. This is not like the last level at all. We aren't going to spend a long time here. Um, this level is going to come and go. You will see. Um, we don't have enough imps. More imps. Your gold reserves are running low. Oh, ten will do. Ten is actually plenty. Um, I hope. You do not have enough gold. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Yes, yes, I know. Shush. The uh, warlock is invisible. One little word of advice: don't drop gold on him while you're trying to put it in the treasury. Um, I have done that, and it's funny, but uh, not profitable. Now, don't dig out the uh, connection, just dig out these rooms, ready to be uh, dug by rooms. Just get them, get them all ready. And uh, we will dig these out when we do that. Perfect. We just got a bile demon and two spiders by tunneling over there. There's also a new room there. Interesting stuff. Oh, and don't drop people into the treasury, they will take money from it. Alright. We'll have a lair soon. Stop complaining. Oh, wow, this is slow. Yes, I know. Alright, there we go. A bit more square now. Now, the reason to build a lair here is kind of like the first level. We don't want to... we want to have all of our powerful creatures here. Primarily the warlock and stuff. Um, the next thing we really want to build is actually um, the library, but we can't build that yet. Kind of annoyingly. Uh, because I haven't dug out the room for it. Dug out the room for the training room. Don't need that yet. In fact, probably will never need that. Going to do it anyway. Just in case. Need a little bit of extra firepower in this level, but uh, you never really have time to do it. At least not the way I do this level. There are these rooms. Go crazy. Um, I'm just glad we got that first. Uh, God, I really need to research. Oh, um... If they can get down this room, it'll be fun, because then we can research in this room and this will be good. Uh, I'm in fact just going to start building the non-functional library immediately. You need a bigger treasure. Yep, I know. Totally spending that gold. Come here, do my work. What? No, I said... Oh. Poopies! There we go. Ah, here we go. Here comes our little time warlock. He's gonna complain about the size of this in a few moments. Well, no, not anymore. We have a big enough room to research everything on this map, I believe. I hope so, anyway. I think we get one new spell here as well. Uh, probably not one we're gonna use. Oh yeah, he's complaining about the imps being in here. Um, hurry up and... God, they never finish what they start. Oh, I shouldn't have built this here, but I didn't really have much of a choice. They might get angry, but who cares. Might lose a couple of imps in this as well. But we need spells. And we need rooms. Ah! New spell! Evil Eye. Allows you to spy. Wait, what the hell? Oh, hello, a fly. Ah, he won't last very long. We have spiders. And, oh, uh, I probably should have told you, that's a new creature. That is the Bile Demon. 
Um, cool little guy. It's kind of like a hot tub where he sleeps in. Huge and fat. You saw him in the intro. He's a lot of fun. Right, we've researched the bridge. We should build a bridge to over here. And immediately have an imp start taking that. Yes. Um, hatchery. Hatchery would be a good idea. Your creatures are under attack. Uh, don't worry about that. We can survive any attack right now. And we do need to get ourselves Your a trim. Are winning a battle. A new spell has been researched. Oh, spell, spell. Dig that out. Alright, come on. With the uh, training room in place, we will shove over the Bile Demon and both spiders into here. Uh, they could defend, but screw that, I need powerful creatures. Ah, we've just taken control of the prison. We can now turn imprisoning on, I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, it will waste time in this level. Ah, there's the prison room, we can build that, that attracts spiders and uh, other things, we will see later. This is the guard post, guard post uh, allows you to essentially have a stable and free version of the call to arms spell. Uh, you just put creatures on there, they will work, and then uh, It's pretty cool, actually. It's one of my uh, more favorite rooms, in a way. Don't use it that often, surprisingly. Uh, demon spawn, demon spawn, we're good. Alright, get into that. Alright, now we want to continue on this way. Yes, we are going to attack right now. We ain't waiting. Come here, start taking their gold. Uh, don't kill my imp. There we go. Your minions are winning a battle. They'll deal with him. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. There. Apparently there were some creatures over there. They didn't last very long. We've lost three imps so far. Yeah, creating the lava is a little bit of a haphazard. Very easy to screw things up. Example of this room. Get in the fucking room. There we go. Oh dear. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Oh, I don't have time to be selective. Your minions are winning a battle. All right, there we Your go. Minions are winning a battle. We're gonna need to keep this on. Yeah, they see there's the portal. Yep, this is the idea. In this level, what we're gonna do, uh, now that I'm doing it, I'll tell you, uh, we're just gonna go straight up, and before I can get any creatures, I'll kill them. The yep, that's how quickly this uh, level is gonna go. It's just like that. Minions are winning a battle. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, imps. There are all kinds of tricks you can do on this level. That's the way I prefer to do it. There are no transfer creature specials on this level, but there are a couple of specials. Your minions are winning a battle. I'm only getting them because there's no point. Taking their portal. Once we have their portal, um, we've essentially... Yeah, okay, we've won. It really doesn't matter how stupid we act now, we've won. Just don't drop your level 10 ball like, right on the portal, even right next to it. You might decide to leave the dungeon. Silly thing to do. Can build a guard post. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. And um, oh yeah, there's the dungeon heart, by the way. <laughs> Your creatures are under attack. Go Your minions. Are falling in battle. Oh, don't Your worry. Your minions are winning a battle. Your minions are winning a battle. All right, now we're gonna drop this guy here. And they are, uh, are a battle. Bile Demons and Spiders, which I haven't really introduced Bile Demons before. We'll talk about this later. Don't worry, we'll get Your to it. Are winning a battle. Everybody goes here, we attack the heart. Now, go! Oh yes. They're making imps like crazy. Imps will fight fiercely to defend their fallen keeper. Very fiercely. But they will die in this weak state. I'm with my level 10 warlock here. You didn't bring a level 10 warlock, didn't you? Yes, you did. <laughs> That's pretty much all the rest of this level. The rest is just going to be me explaining how things work. 
Yeah, try to run full and nobody cares. What enemy? They are dead. Yes, they are. Go, oh, creatures. Have some fun. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we have a scroll by here now because of how many creatures we have. We have conquered the realm. Right, I should probably explain a few different creatures. Um, so, spiders, uh, we'll come to your dungeon when you have a training room and a prison. The sizes affect whether they will come or not, um, but that, that's, that's the laws, uh, hatchery, training room, and uh, prison. They will torture creatures in the prison by freezing them uh, with their free spell, which is similar to like a web shot or something. Kinda cool. Bile demons. Bile demons are attracted by a training room and a workshop. Um, however, they can also just be attracted by just having a workshop and I think a couple other things, but you don't actually even need the workshop, which we never actually managed to research um, to attract them, as I demonstrated by attracting two more. I'll look up these specific attractions when I do my full creature bio video with all of the possessions and things like that. For now, uh, the tactics are that don't use them too close to other creatures because they use a lot of area of effect spells which will damage nearby creatures of your side and the opponents. They are very powerful, have a huge amount of stopping power, it's a good idea to drop four or so of them right next to an oncoming uh, enemy barrage and uh, watch them fall. Um, and that, that's basically all you'll need to do. Um, and then uh, if they get damaged, take them out, replace them with other creatures. But yeah, just know that you should put them in a separate way. And there we go, we got the workshop. So, next level. Knife. The streets run with the blood of the slain. Screams of pain and howls of anguish rip the night air like a vengeful siren song. This really is somewhere you can take the kids for a weekend. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, the burning. Snuggledell. The folk of Snuggledell worship the common rabbit. Floppy-eared bunnies are encouraged to hop around the field surrounding the hamlet, bringing happiness, love, and more bunnies to the entire area. <laughs> well, we'll have to torch some bunnies in that case. That's the tutorial over for Dungeon Keeper. I'll uh, be uploading the next level, even though this was so short, in a different part, because, uh, well, a different video, because, uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot longer since it's not a tutorial level. Well, that's been the basics. I think I'll explain the basic creatures in a sum up video next, and then we'll move on. Alright then, folks. Fuck.